Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I was able to convert my DxO optics, uh, DxO1 from a 35 millimeter format over to a 24.5 millimeter in 35 millimeter equivalent format. So I gave it an extra wide angle. So let's check it out. This here is the Canon wide angle converter. It is uh, called the Canon WD dash 30.5 and it is a 0.7x converter and in order to use this with your DxO1 you have to buy a bunch of these little guys and you can get three of these for uh, about $19. I got these all on Amazon. I have the links down below. So this basically allows you to go ahead and convert and attach 30.5 millimeter attachments onto your DxO1. So it's really simple to do um, after you get one of these converters, which I got for about 10 or $11, is you go ahead and just screw this right on to the, the front of the unit. And then you take your DxO1 and flip down the front and then just slide this guy right in there. And voila, you have a 24.5 millimeter equivalent um, shooting system and I didn't really get any vignetting on here. The quality seems to be sufficiently good given that this is a third-party type of converter uh, system. Now I also besides that I also went and tried the uh, teleconverter 30.5 millimeter and I found that there was some severe vignetting. I'm not sure if I will actually keep this or use this but I also got this for about 10 to 15 bucks as well. Um, used or uh, I should say open box um, online. So check my links down below for some samples shot with this. This will obviously work with both video mode and also photo stills mode. And I'll show you both examples uh, following and down the link below and also some clips uh, near the end of the video. All right. Okay, so I just shot some footage right on outside and we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these samples in here. I gotta tell you that you can't really expect a whole lot out of the results of these. Keep in mind that this wide angle converter was like less than, I wanna say this one was about 12 bucks or something like that. And it was designed back in the day when HD, I think was just coming out. So you'll have some sharpness in the middle but on the wide and uh, on the edges, the corners, the resolution drops down uh, fairly quickly and tremendously. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, here's the video. Let's see, yeah, here's, I think I started out with a video. is at 24 and a half millimeter with the converter adapter lens on as you can see the quality so looks you can pretty see darn good with the video and now I'm gonna go ahead and remove in the 1080p adapter. the quality seems to be oh, decent with it on remove the adapter here anyways so this is standard right so this is standard 35 millimeter and then now I'm attaching the adapter and this brings it up to 24 and a half millimeter. 24 and a half millimeter. 24 and a half. And then I'm gonna remove this. 35 millimeter. Walk a little bit closer to this flower over here. So this is at 35 millimeter, of course, shooting video mode directly from the DXO1. And then now I'm gonna stick on the adapter, bringing this to 24 and a half millimeter, 24 and a half millimeter. Okay, let's take a look at some of the photos. Took a few here. So 24 millimeter You'll notice the resolution looks like it's dropping here around the corner here and we see some uh, looks to be chromatic aberration. Look at the blurring out here. 
this is with a 35 millimeter, but look at the difference that you get, um, that you can get with the wide angle. So it's almost like you're, you're putting a bit of a vignetting filter on here. So in the middle, really crisp and sharp. As we get out here and edges here, it looks like it's losing detail. It's smearing um, the view. This might be kind of cool if you actually like to stick on filters and stuff like this. So it looks like I only have those three samples in there. I will have uh, three, oh wait, is it four samples? Four samples in there with the, with the photos. All in all, it's not bad for 10 to $12. Um, so if you get a chance to pick one up, it um, might be worthwhile to get a little bit wider view with your, uh, with your videos. Um, for photos, I would say only if it's critical that the parts in the middle are sharp and if your main subject is right in the middle. Um, but other than that, this is probably the best and cheapest wide angle adapter that I found that fits in a native 30.5 millimeter format. That's it for this video. If you found this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.